guys welcome to the vlog i'm allison alana if you're new here please make sure you subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always tuning in today is christmas eve and i'm just out doing a little bit of my last minute runs i'm out here pretty early so it's not um it's not too bad out. I got pretty much everything done um, a few days before. So I just needed a couple little small little things. But I had this gift card for Sephora. So I came with Sephora today. And I got me some lip gloss. This is the Dior Attic Lip Maximizer. And I got it in the color Intense Rose. Um, I played around with a couple of them for a while, so my hands are really ashy from all the wiping I was doing. <laughs> but I got, um, this is the shade that I got. It's kind of different from the shades that I normally wear on a day-to-day. -day. So I wanted to switch it up a little bit. It's, uh, you know, different, and um, I think it's going to look really cute. So I got this color. And uh, let's see, I'm about to just do a couple more little runs. Um, I do need to make a trip to the Dollar Tree. And um, get a few things and that is probably really it. I'm getting gas now because once I'm finished this, I'm gonna be in all day. I probably will go live later on tonight to finish wrapping gifts and to also prep my dinner because I don't want to be um, doing all of my prepping and cooking tomorrow. We have a very small, small oven to use. I did get my, I did get a new stove. I don't think I mentioned that in the last, in the, in the videos, but my demon possessed stove has been replaced. It's been replaced for a couple of weeks now and it seems to be working okay. Um, and it's, the, that one was small, but this one is like maybe two inches even more narrower, so. <laughs> I don't have a lot to work with, but um, yeah, so we're gonna do a lot of prepping tonight so that I could just be sticking things in the oven tomorrow. I would start doing my cooking tonight as well, but I don't wanna have to warm anything up. Yeah, so I really want my dinner to be first. So um, I'm gonna do my cooking tomorrow morning. I, I'm gonna try to get up at like four o'clock in the morning, but I sometimes don't be following through with them alarms. I know I can do like 5, 5.30, because you know, that's like my daily, but um, 4 a.m. might be pushing it, but we'll see, because I want to be done all my cooking no later than three, and I want to just relax, eat, watch a couple of movies, vlog, you know, just enjoy the last day. Well, the, enjoy Christmas day, so that shall be that. All right, so we in Dollar Tree. Got a little basket. I picked up this tray right here. Um, to put my kids' desserts and stuff on. I used to have the nicest trays in my um in my apartment uh last year. And I left them. I left them behind because I was just too overwhelmed with the packing by myself. My baby was still really young back then. And it was just too much um, to pack up. So I left pretty much everything I had in the kitchen. And every time I, a holiday come around and I, or I want to cook like a big meal, and I know I had all them nice trays and grills and all that nice stuff I had, it just be making me so mad. But um, this time, I have noted to myself, whenever I move, always do the kitchen first, always. Cause that can be kind of overwhelming. That that space can be kind of overwhelming. And if you leave that for the last, you'll do just like what I did, which was leave it there in the hostel. I mean, leave it there in the, um, leave everything behind in the house. All right, so I'm gonna go and get some foil. All right, so I'm entering into, oh, you got a carrot? <laughs> August always checking for some fake groceries. <laughs> all right, so of course they got all the good foil gone. Of course they got all the good foil gone. They got the little cheap foil that as soon as you touch it, it falls apart in your hand. Oh, my 
God, I mean, not even one. What's that? Not, not okay. even one left. Thanks. Thanks. Let me see if they at least have the parchment. Which we're probably not going to get that either. So yeah, they don't have no full, no parchment paper. I guess I played myself thinking I was going to come here. And it was going to be a, it was going to be an easy, easy route. So, all right, I'm going to get two of these pans. At least they got some pans. So, these are the kind of cheap kind. They're not as strong as other stores, but... I mean, for a dollar twenty-five, it is what it is. Yeah, I see some. Um... All right, so they got these bacon pans, well, sheet pans down here. Mm. I should have got a. Go give me a card. I got this basket, but I should have definitely went and got a card. They got these cookie pans. I am baking cookies. Um, I feel like these are cheap and going to burn my cookies. But I don't have a sheet pan at all. I don't think not even in storage. So I'm going to buy this. I'm going to try with it. It might not be as disappointing as I think it is. Excuse my hands. I've been wiping them. I'm trying to gloss. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get this and just make sure I have the parchment paper. Because if I don't use parchment paper, I know I'm going to be... I'm a, this is going to be a regret part just for me. So. I'm going to get that. And let me try to find like a little ice cream scoop. Because typically the best way to measure your cookie dough is to use an ice cream scoop. So they got these kind. Oh, here. Let's put this here. And let me go ahead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll make you just start grabbing stuff in here. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so they got these little McCormick measuring cups. What's this? Mm. Okay, this goes up to two cups. I might get this just because I am I am a measurer for certain things. Depends on what I'm doing. But for see, not for like some people be seasoning, measuring their seasons out. No, I eyeball that. But some things, especially like new recipes, I will. Um, this cookie scoop, or this this ice cream scoop, don't really, not really the one I wanted. But this might be the size that I need. We're going to get that, and then I guess I'll try Family Dollar or something for the foil. At this point, I don't care where I get it from and how much it costs. I'm just needing to go get it at this point. And the other store, I could have got four for like $4, but I'm just like, eh, I know what Dollar Tree is, you know? Hey, so where you going, Pepper Spray? Ain't nothing. So I'm in line now. Look at these glasses. Dollar Tree been trying to pop this stuff, honey. If I can get these on my face. <laughs> These kind of cute. Who thought? Who would have ever thought? Yeah. Dollar Tree has the most trash reading. They got trash reading, bro. Yeah, this one's right here. Yeah, they come to Dollar Tree. Y'all want some fly shades? <laughs> All right. So here's some Remy's wrap. Now we in Family Dollar. Thirty feet for four dollars, or ninety feet for six fifty. So I'm definitely going with. Um, the 30 feet. <laughs> and let me go get my crazy kids. Here y'all go. Come on. Come on. 
Okay, so I don't see any. I see clinging seal and the plastic wrap, ziplocks and stuff, but no parchment. This has got to be a joke. But it's a, a store right next door, so I'm going to go over there and see if they have it. And while I'm in there, I'm going to see if the if the um, turkey wings have been restocked. Let me see. They might have a bacon aisle. Um, let's see if there's anything here. No. Typically, where they sell like pots and pans sometimes in these stores, they'll have them in that house. Let me try this. Come on, y'all. Okay, so here they are with the measuring cups, baking pans, and all sorts. Oh, see, this is the kind of ice cream scoop I was looking for. Because I feel like this is bigger. This is probably, this is what I see people use when they measure their cookie dough with an ice cream scoop. It's never this little, like this. Um, let's see, let's see. Nope, just the pans. They don't have any parchment paper over here. Let me see if their pans are a little bit sturdier. No, they feel about the same as Dollar Tree. Like the good ones being like the grocery stores, like Carrot Cedar, Food Line, stuff like that. And they go for like around $8. A grater would be a great investment because I do like the grate my own cheese if I can but I don't mind buying the blocks it's just um, I mean buying the shredded cheese so this was something that I needed for my Christmas punch and I couldn't find it anywhere never would have thought I would have saw it in Family Dollar but here it is so I'm going to grab it I don't even remember what all the ingredients was I just know I have some regular ginger ale at home I got orange juice I got cranberry juice and now this cranberry ginger ale I'm going to just make something up and garnish it with some rosemary. I don't even care. Um, just uh, probably, I probably already got all the ingredients and don't even know it. I don't even feel like looking nothing up and all of that stuff right now. Alright, finally got the parchment paper. All right, so we're out of food line and it is official. It is official that I finally have all items that I need. I did have um, an air fryer that I wanted to take back to uh, Walmart because it was gifted to me. And when I opened it, I realized at the bottom of the box, it had the P65 warning, which just always pisses me off. I mean, I'm not like paranoid about that, but I just don't see why I would use the good brain that guy gave me and still see a warning there and still purchase it. It's just to me the stupidest thing a person could ever do. And um, I just choose not to purchase anything that has that warning on there. So um, somebody gifted it to me, like I said, and I was gonna try to exchange it for like a crock pot or um, another one that didn't have that warning, but I just don't even really feel like going to Walmart anymore. Um, it is about noon and I just want to get off the road. I don't even care. Um, typically I will cook my beef ribs in something like that, um, in the crock pot or in, yeah, in the crock pot. And then I will put it in the oven later. But I think what I'll do is just cook them in the oven for like five hours instead of like four hours or three hours, you know, um, That'll work fine for me. And I don't know, I might change my mind later. Who knows? But for now, I'm not going over there. So that's going to conclude this probably very short day of Christmas Eve. And maybe there'll be a Christmas Eve part two. I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, so this will conclude for now. And I will see y'all later on tonight when I go live to prep my dinner. Ta -ta. All right, so a lot. Hey, be quiet. I got in and I realized I didn't have any barbecue sauce for my ribs. I had some happy whipping cream. I thought I had two bottles of it in here, but I only had one. And the one that I have is like a really small size. It's only um about eight ounces, so I think I'm gonna need more than that. 
because I'll need it for more than one dish, I think. So, I'd rather have a little bit more and be saved than to not have enough and be sorry. So, I got to get some honey whipping cream. And barbecue sauce. But then, while I'm packing the groceries, I realized that uh, I didn't have, well, the Italian blended cheese that I bought from Whole Foods, it was actually shaved and not, um, It was supposed to be grated. So, I'm kind of wondering on that. Should I take that back? Should I just rebuy? Should I just don't, not care and use it anyway? <laughs> like, I don't know. This would be my first time stuffing the salmon because I personally don't use. I don't eat salmon. I'm making this for my kids. So I'm wondering, will it even make a difference? Is it really going to be, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I think it'd be fine, though. I, I think it might end up being better than the recipe that I had found. So. I'm not going to go nice about the cheese. But it was really because... like to shop with them they just too loud and it's just a distraction when i'm trying to do something that needs my full attention and um because i had to stop and you know get them and stuff like that i i'm pretty sure that's why i overlooked it and just looked at italian blend and didn't make sure that it was graded so for sure i know i'm going back out to get the Barbecue sauce and the heavy whipping cream. All right, Dad, so. I want to get a shopping cart. Hey, speak quiet. For it to be a, a winter day, it is pretty darn sunny and pretty, pretty hot. So I got all this on. But I can't take it off right now because um, I look like a mad woman in my hat. Hi, Ruth. But nonetheless, nonetheless. So we're back at Food Line for the umpteenth time this week. Oh, I just sent eight, oh, eight and volunteered to go in. And I'm just like, yeah, that's probably easier. Because I don't feel like chasing people down, running around in a circle, yelling, yell. I just don't. I'm not in the mood for that at this moment. So we're just getting these two items. I thought about going to Walmart to do it. That way I could take care of my air fryer return at the same time. However, um, I was just kind of concerned that Walmart would not have whooping cream, have whooping cream. So, because I'm only making one trip, I um, decided to do just this one location. Um, so yeah, we're going to let Aiden do his thing in the store, whatever that might be. <laughs> and hopefully he come back out with the two items and nothing no other problems so my son came back with this food line heavy whipping cream i didn't even need a bottle this big i just wanted another small one but maybe he just didn't catch the drift then i told him one big bottle of barbecue sauce or two small bottles of barbecue sauce so he got the one 40 ounce which is great um i don't really care for food line brand i always get sit him down I don't really care for food line brand. I always get um, the best when it comes to like stuff like that because usually I'm gonna be putting it together for like a mix of stuffing or you know something. And I just really care about the quality and the flavor that'll be inside of the food for certain things. So um, some things I might get a store brand on here and there, but other things it just depends on what I'm using it for and what's the recipe for. And then I'll be able, you know, I'll decide, well, now nah, I need to go all in for this because I want the right taste, like butters, um, certain sauces, stuff like that. So, so we got everything. I'm finally going in to do a whole host of things. So, um, yeah, this vlog is over for real this time. <laughs>